I was very happy to have been invited uh, to attend this event uh, by the uh, Government of Qatar to celebrate human rights and this link with football on behalf of the High Commissioner for Human Rights here in Geneva. S events such as these I think are extremely important to reinforce the positive values that sport brings to uh, sustaining and supporting human rights, respect and protection of human rights. And particularly given the values of sport concentrate on fair play, participation, building links between communities and building bridges between people irrespective of their race or their religion or their ethnic or culture, their abilities or their gender. So I was very happy to be here to be able to see this wonderful art that signifies so well the links between football and human rights and I'm looking forward particularly to the World Cup in November uh, as a celebration of sport, the values of sport and of course the promotion and the protection of human rights that that engenders. Look, uh, uh, as, I, as I was saying before when we started this uh, exhibition, uh, there are two issues which I think is of paramount importance. The first one is that uh, the Cup, uh, the World Cup prompted uh, labor reform, which were needed in Qatar. However, without the involvement and commitment by the government of Qatar, uh, the labor reforms uh, could not have uh, achieved uh, uh, within the three years that were actually the time span for uh, important labor reforms. I indicated uh, the abolishment of the kafala system, but in practical terms it means uh, labor mobility for the workers, and this includes migrant workers in particular, then a better working condition for the workers as well, including uh, minimum wage for 13% out of the uh, cohort uh, of um, workers in, uh, in, um, in Qatar. The third issue which I think is important is the engaging in to sustain the social dialogue. That's why there are joint committees which are being created, for example, at the level of the hotels. The hotels we lost people from outside. The idea is how we avoid the problems. One way to avoid problems is that we know how to address them. And so the joint committees, which are workers, employees, organization, the ministers of labor, give the opportunity to the workers to speak out and to say you know, what they need, the claims, and to address the claims. I think those are major steps. They were, uh, they were done in less than three years, and that was with the support of the International Labor Organization, technical support, but certainly because the Qatar government decided to go ahead with this.